Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video today, I'm checking out top 50 songs produced by Max Martin. I recently did a reaction to a video basically describing his history and some of the songs he's produced. He's produced for Backstreet Boys, Britney Spears, Katy Perry. He's produced a lot of the hits that I know. So let's get right into the top 50 songs for more of like an in-depth view of what songs he's produced. So let's get right into it for today. Let's go. Okay, I'm seeing Katy Perry back. Taylor Swift. Yep. Oh, I love this song. This was a massive song when I was a kid. The weekend, okay. Oh wow, this song was always on the radio. Love me like you do. So he did a song with Eddie Golden as well. I didn't know that. Selena Gomez, a massive song as well. Like, he's done so many big songs. Classic right here. I don't know this one. Oh, I definitely know this one. This was always on the radio on the way to school as a kid. Oh, sure, this was a great song. Okay, he even did early Katy Perry. I knew he produced for Britney Spears. He's been doing it for a long time, it seems. Wow, how many songs did this lad produce? Ariana Grande. Okay, he must have like worked on the album, it seems. He did a lot of songs with Pink as well. Oh, this song was crazy. Katy Perry E.T. Even Avril Lavigne. And as you can see, this guy's doing every genre. He's doing rock with Bon Jovi. He's obviously doing these massive pop songs. He's done a lot of songs with Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande, Selena Gomez. He's done so Pink a little bit of surprise, and I wasn't expecting that. Pink is always be on in the car on Capital FM in the United Kingdom, if you know that radio station, on the way to school. Literally, that's those songs like burned in my brain, along with Katy Perry, E.T., California Girls. This guy has done everything for so many years. Seeing some of the songs, I weren't expecting Bon Jovi to be on the list. Oh, this song, this is one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs. Yo, Tyo Cruz, man, he's from the UK, Tyo Cruz. He had like Dynamite and Break Your Heart. This guy came, he had like two of the biggest songs of the year. He was, he was kind of had a few hits in the UK, which didn't really go worldwide. But he had two of the biggest songs of the year. And then completely after that, he just dipped out. Never heard anything from him since. But this one was a banger. Oh yeah, classic. I knew he did this one. Oh, he even did this song. <laughs> oh, I love The weekend. I love this song as well. I used to also like the Weird Al version of this one. Early Katy Perry again, 2008. 
Even Kelly Clarkson. Yeah, I knew he did this one. Hit me one more time. And wait, what are they talking about in 2013? Because I'm pretty sure those are the dates the song was made at the top. This is from like 1999 or maybe earlier. Like, I know it's in the 90s. This is definitely not 2013. But yeah, this is a, this is still big today, this song. This is crazy as impact. Maroon 5, okay. He's doing it. Oh, he did this one as well. Oh, this brings me back to 2015, man. I love 2015, one of my favorite. Oh, this song was great. Yeah, everybody. I remember that from This Is The End. And also the Kanye remix. I like that one too, which never got released. But that was really good. Everybody. Yeah, this song, I love it. Light and Ice. Literally one of the biggest songs of 2019 and 2020. Okay, so I think that's the end of the video. Top 50 songs by Max Martin. I knew there's some songs with Katy Perry, Taylor Swift. That was covered in the last video. But to see them in action, he's been working with Katy Perry literally from near the start of her career. Like I Kissed a Girl, Hot and You're Cold. They've got very early Katy Perry songs. But what really surprised me is the Bon Jovi song. I was not expecting to work with Bon Jovi. That kind of surprised me. The Weekend, he did Blind the Lights. So that is a massive song. He obviously did Mar Song with Maroon 5, Selena Gomez, Ariana Grande. This guy literally works with everybody. I wonder what the number one song in the world is right now. I'm pretty sure he probably worked on it. That's the crazy thing about this guy. Like they said in the video I reacted to, this guy could literally be the biggest artist in the world if he kept these songs for himself. Because he started out in a band. If he had all these songs for himself, he'd literally be the biggest artist in the world. But he's choosing like, nah, I'd rather work on music as something I love, but I don't really want to be in the spotlight like that. So I think I think he's a very humble guy, very talented, and he's obviously really, really good at what he does, as we see, based on this list. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, everyone. It's just very cool to actually see the songs. The only one I didn't know on there was Robin. I didn't know that song, but every other song I literally have heard so many times on the radio, on YouTube, or even in videos or stuff like that. You just hear them everywhere. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, everyone.